Lengthening a golf club is a relatively simple procedure. There are details to performing this service that every technician should know to ensure safety and provide the best possible service to customers. Before the length of a club is extended, it is important to measure the swing weight of the club. This swing weight number should be used as a reference for overall club head feel. Generally, lengthening any club will increase the swing weight by approximately three points for every half inch the club is lengthened. In preparation to remove the grip, secure the club in the GolfWorks gripping station. Be sure the club face is in a square position. Check the clamping pressure to prevent shaft damage. Special care must be taken when placing a graphite shaft into the clamp to prevent damage. Cut off the old grip using a hook blade knife. Be sure to stand to the side and away from the direction of the cut. Remove the grip and follow all appropriate safety procedures. Remove all of the old grip tape. On steel shafts, it is recommended you use the tape stripper to remove the old tape. On graphite shafts, it is recommended the tape be removed by hand or by using the super knife. Special care must be used if the super knife is used on graphite to prevent shaft damage. Be sure all of the old tape and any tape residue is removed from the shaft. On irons or woods with steel shafts, it is not recommended to extend a club more than one and a half inches. Extending steel shafts beyond one and a half inches may affect the integrity of the shaft. Graphite shafts should not be extended more than one inch. Extending graphite shafts beyond one inch may affect the integrity of the shaft. Shaft manufacturers will not warranty a shaft with a shaft extension. Be sure to notify customers of this fact before performing the club extension service. Identify the proper size extensions for the shaft to be lengthened. Steel or aluminum extensions should be used for steel shafts. Plastic or composite extensions should be used when extending graphite shafts. Once the proper type and size of extension has been determined, abrade the part of the extension that will be inserted into the shaft. It is also recommended the inside of the shaft be abraded using a wire brush or sandpaper. Graphite extensions may need to be sanded to fit the inside of the shaft. The fit should be snug. Once the proper fit has been achieved, the extension can be epoxied into the shaft. It is recommended that Tourset, Tourset Plus, or high strength epoxy be used when installing extensions. Mix the epoxy and apply a liberal amount to the inside of the shaft and to the part of the extension to be inserted into the shaft. Insert the extension into the shaft, rotating the extension as you insert it. When using a steel or aluminum extension after inserting, hold the shaft in one hand and use a rubber mallet to gently tap the extension into the shaft. Do not hammer extensions into graphite shafts. On graphite, you can gently tap the extension on the floor or a hard surface to secure the extension. Wipe off excess epoxy from the outside of the shaft and extension. Set the club with the head up and the shaft down to cure. This prevents the epoxy from running down inside the shaft. It is recommended that the butt of the shaft be placed on a piece of cardboard on the floor to catch any epoxy runoff. Refer to the label on the epoxy that is used to determine the proper cure time. Once the epoxy has set up, place the club in the club measure ruler and mark the extension at the length the club is to be cut. The mark should be one eighth inch short of the desired club length to allow for the grip cap. Using the one by 42 inch belt sander with a cutoff wheel, cut the extension at the measured mark using the proper safety procedures. Once the extension is cut, on steel shafts, deburr the butt end of the extension using a medium or coarse grit sanding belt on the one by 42 inch belt sander. Tap the butt of the club lightly on the floor to be sure no metal pieces have fallen into the shaft. When using a graphite or plastic extension, masking tape should be placed where the extension is to be cut. This prevents the extension from splitting during the cutting process. When cutting a plastic or graphite extension, use the cutoff wheel to cut to the measured mark. Graphite shafts do not require deburring after the cut. After cutting graphite, tap the butt end on the floor to clear the shaft of any debris. Install the grip using the proper procedures. Be sure to follow all the appropriate safety precautions.
Also, check the alignment of the grip after installation. Once the grip is installed, check the swing weight and compare to the swing weight prior to lengthening the club. Generally, for every half inch a club is lengthened, the swing weight will go up about three swing weight points. If the player indicates the club feels heavy at the longer length, it is important to explain the heavier swing weight reading as a result of the longer length. In most cases, no adjustment can be made to the head weight to reduce the swing weight. Removing the grip and counterbalancing the club is an option, but is not recommended. Refer to the video on swing weighting for details on counterbalancing. After the grip is installed, it is recommended the club be allowed to sit from 30 minutes to overnight, depending on the grip type, for it to set up completely. Most grips will set up and be ready to play in about an hour. Complete the repair order ticket and store the club or clubs in the assigned area. If the customer is waiting, use the proper procedures for checkout of the repair and payment for the club lengthening service.